that is not a supercharger. So I think the alternator is going out on the Nissan. Started making a whining noise. Go ahead and pop the hood here. Kind of see it down in there. So I'm going to start it up and see if you can hear it. When you first start it, it doesn't come in, and then as it's running, it starts to whine. And I've tested the volts too here on the battery. Twelve point nine. Let me turn the headlights on headlights on it's 12.2 so nowhere near where it should be so pretty sure it's safe to say that the alternator is on its way out well it's kind of late in the day I don't know if we'll be able to get it all apart tonight before the part store closes but I'm gonna see what I can get these that was the wire I just with a nut I just took off that's the plug I pulled off from here and here now I think there's a bolt here and then I'm going to have to jack it up to get the belt off and get to the other bolt well I don't know why I decided to do this outside in the gravel Jack stand underneath it now. Take the wheel off.
All right, so I got one of the bolts came out right there and it was very hard to get out because it was not much room between that bolt and the frame so I had to have just the right socket to that was big enough to clear the stud that sticks through but not too big to be able to get the ratchet on there without hitting the frame so finally found a good combination to get that and then taking the bolt out here so there's only two bolts and I've already wiggled it loose so you can see it is somewhat loose but I think I need to pull that stud on the bottom all the way out to be able to get it to slide out it's off I'm gonna wedge it out between the, all the hoses so much room Well, it's out. Take it in and get another one. Back with a new one, hopefully it works. Time to do everything but in reverse. So first step will be to wiggle it down in here, I guess. This was the stud that had to come all the way out of the back side here to get it to come loose. So once it got out so far, it was up against the exhaust. You just had to wiggle it all the way out. Cause if not, it, just, it catches. Squeeze back down in there a lot easier. It came out. <laughs> Try a magnet. So I got it in there, so I basically had to take this magnet with a bolt, put it down in there and get it started in the hole and wiggle the alternator to get it through. That was not fun. Now I'm going to put the nut on. Right there. Top one Tighten them, tighten the bottom one. I'm sure I'm gonna bust my knuckles here.
Now I'm on a good tension the top. Plug this plug back in here. Need to see what size this one is. Sometimes they're different from the original. And the cover goes over it. Okay, belt's on, plugs are in. I guess put the fans in and be almost ready to start it. Put this back on there so with and freeze it and go everywhere. Goods there. Clips there. These clips there. Some clips here. Clips here. These clips. Bushings are worn out. Okay. Uh, well, I think we're gonna put the cables on to start it. I think I have everything back on. It needs to be anyway. But it is now dark outside. Cover best I could. So I'm gonna test the voltage again. 13.8. You gonna turn the headlights on? Say 13.8. When we turn it off, it shoots up to 14 or so. Okay, 